and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial using purple eyeshadows. This was requested by a few of my viewers over the last couple of days and I'm really excited to perhaps get out of the rut of using just warm toned shadows. I think at the moment there are so many warm toned eyeshadow palettes, there are so many still being released, so it's nice that you have mentioned to me or asked me to perhaps do a different eye look. The palette that I'm going to be using today, and this is the only purple eyeshadow palette that I have in my collection and it is the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified 35 palette and it's called Dynamic. Now I must admit if you only have one palette this is a good one because it's got so many shades in there. It's £15, you can pick it up from the Revolution Beauty website which is now the new name for the Tan Beauty website. I'm not sure if you can still get it from Superdrug, but if you can, I'll link both down below for you. Now, when you look inside, and I apologize, one of the pans is damaged, that's how I received it, but you've got everything in here. You've got your neutrals, you've got your rosy shades for your bases. You then move on to these really vibrant purple shades. So if you only have one purple palette, this is a really good one to have because it has everything in there. I've already done one eye just to make it easy for me and I've applied the base on this side so um, I'm all ready to go. The lip shade that I'm wearing today, um, or I should say the lip combo, I'm wearing the NYX Natural, I think it's called, lip liner. I've also got this lipstick from Stila. It's one of their matte lipsticks. I will link it down below for you and it's in the shade Coquille, which is spelled C-O-Q-U-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. It's a beautiful mauve toned lipstick that goes perfectly, hopefully, when I've done the other eye. But so far it goes very nicely with this eye look. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Now I'm going to start off with the rosy toned eyeshadow called Suede and it's this one here. It's one of my favorites in this palette. Like I say, you do need a base, you know, when you do a purple eye look, you need a neutral base to start off with. And like I said, this palette has it all. So I'm going to, as usual, use my Primark Eye Contour Brush. I'm sure that you probably all shout it out at the screen now that when I say, um, what brush am I going to use? But this is my favorite. Now I'm just going to pop that in the crease and take that up. And what I will say about this, these eyeshadows, I mean, they're called amplified, but they really are amplified. Now I always do build up the color on my eye anyway, but they work so, so well. I mean, you can definitely see that color and that pigmentation on my eye. Now I'm going to run that underneath as well. I just always like that first shade just as a starting point under the eye. So that's your rosy pink shade done. Now what I went for was the shade, I need to get the names right, it's called Fancy and it is this colour here. So this one was particularly rosy. This one to me seems it's a mixture of, and have I got the right one? Yeah, it is that one. Um, it's a mixture of rosiness and purple. So it's going to work very, very well to lay that over the top. So I'm just going to pop the tip of the brush into that one. And I'm going to keep that into the crease, first of all. Now there are so many purple shades in this palette. I'm just going to take it up a little bit now just to blend it. Lovely. Now I'm just going to run a little bit of that underneath the eye.
and now I need to get a deeper shade. So the deeper shade that I'm going for is actually right next to Fancy and it's called Redemption and it's this one here. So we're now full on deep purple now. So I'm just going to get again another or the, on the tip of the brush that next shade and again I'm just going to keep it in this area to start with and then I'm just going to blend that up. And again, I'm just going to go back into that colour. And just keep blending until I'm happy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, run the brush underneath the eye Keep trying to keep it as tight as I can. You don't want to just mix all the colours together, you, you want it quite tight. This is why I like this brush because it's so multifunctional. You've got the flat, you've got the point. I mean, there are so many of these brushes. If you cannot, cannot for whatever reason, either pick it up from Primark or you just can't visit a Primark store um, because you don't have one nearby, there are more of these brushes you can get them anywhere basically and if you search for it online i'll see if i can find an alternative and pop that down below as well so that basically is the base i'm just going to um i went in with a deeper shade i'm sure let me just have a look um i think i went in with the black chic um, and that one is there. So I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny, like I said, these are amplified palettes um, and I really don't want too much black, but I want this area here just a little bit deeper to match this side, but I don't want too much of it like that. So that matches very nice. What um, I would also say is that if you don't want your eyeshadow as vibrant as this, perhaps you can obviously just put a couple of shades on and don't, you know, if you have got this palette, you have got so many purple shades to choose from. So don't be, don't be afraid to, um, you know, mix it and mix it up a little bit. Don't necessarily need to go as dark as me just because I've got dark hair and dark eyes. You know, I suppose my colouring can take it. But if you're blonde, you'll just need to perhaps um, not put the deeper shades on. But if this is how you like to wear your eyeshadow, absolutely fine. Um, someone mentioned to me yesterday um, about age appropriate eyeshadows to be honest you know I just wear what I want um you know <laughs> I think it's it's totally up to you you don't need to think about your age when you're wearing makeup um there used to be a phrase I'm not going to even mention what the phrase is it just age is just a number and I think and I've mentioned it so many times on my channel we should be able to wear what we like when we like um and do not be afraid to wear whatever you want. Um, there's not actually many people that wear um, makeup like I do where I live. Um, I don't live in a, um, I would say, a specifically rural area, um, but I do live somewhere where, you know, there is a number of people, but there's not a lot of people that wear makeup like I do, and it's not going to stop me from wearing makeup. Um, I do whatever I want to do with makeup. Um, you know, it's just, up to your it's your personal preference I suppose I'm trying to say and you shouldn't have to get to I don't know 40 50 60 and think to yourself you know now I need to cut back on the makeup I need to stop wearing makeup you can do whatever you feel comfortable with at the end of the day it's totally up to you now we are going to and let me get the right brush it's this one now we're going to do the lid shade and I went for the shade Broadway which is this beautiful gold here and I kept thinking to myself because I don't particularly like 
too dark shades on my lid. If I have too dark a shade on my lid, um, it really closes up my eye. Now, I suppose as you get older, um, I don't know if it's whether it's my eye shape or whether really I didn't wear a lot of makeup when my children were um, younger. So I'm talking about in my 20s when I had my children. I didn't wear a lot of makeup then just because I was a busy mum of four. So it's only now that I'm, you know, my 30s, um, 40s I am now that I'm really into makeup um, so I don't know whether it's the shape of my eye or whether it is just an age thing but I find that if I put too much dark or too much of a dark color on my lid then it really closes up my eye um, and I do see some beautiful eye looks with deeper shades on the lid but I just personally find that it's just too much for my eye um, <laughs> so I tend to if I do put a deeper shade on which I'm not going to do today um, but also it goes I suppose hand in hand with the question of you know do we have to wear age appropriate makeup but I have found like I said that I need to always wear a lighter shade if I do wear a deeper shade I always have to go lighter there so I hope that um, that has answered your question but always feel free to ask me any questions that you want um, you can either dm me or just pop it down below i always welcome any questions because i do find um and the question that i always get asked is why did i start youtube and the reason i started youtube is is number one it's because i absolutely love makeup um, and there wasn't really anybody on youtube um that I watched anyway that was in my age range that I could relate to. So this is why I started up my own channel um, because I love to share makeup and yeah, that's why really. I love it and there wasn't anybody that I could relate to in my age range. And I think, you know, it's so helpful um, you know, to have someone that you can watch who you can relate to. Now I'm just popping that shade all the way around my eye. Again, I find that if I put a light shade around my eye, it really brightens up my eye as well. So, and I absolutely love this Broadway shade. It really works so, so well with the purple shades. Now I'm just going back to my original brush and I'm going back into, um, which one was it? Fancy, it was Redemption. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of Redemption here, not too much, because I don't want it to overtake that beautiful shade on the lid. So I'm just, popping a little bit of that on. Now I'm going to swap and the, sh the brushes, if you're interested, are just um, very cheap and cheerful brushes from Wilco. I think they're about 95p. They do tend to change the patterns occasionally, as you can see there, they are the same size, <laughs> but um, they do tend to change the patterns. In fact, I've got three here and they're all different, um, but they, they work so, so well to pop that color on the lid. Now I've got another one, a clean one, and I actually went in with the shade, um, what's it called, Brick which is um, a very unusual name for this beautiful lilac shade here. And I'm just going to get that on my brush and I'm going to pop it here. Like that. Now what I'm going to do um, is something that I've never done on camera before. If I can find my pencil, oh, there it is. Um, I have started to wear a little bit of eyeliner and this one is the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Smoky Eyeliner. It's waterproof and bulletproof. You can again pick this up from the, um, the Newtown Beauty site, the Revolution 
makeup site. No, Revolution Beauty site. Sorry, I've still not got it quite in my head yet. Um, and it looks like this. Again, it looks very like the, their lip liners, but you can sharpen it. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on. I try not to pull at my eye too much, but it just adds a little bit of depth to the eye. I love this. It works so, so well. Um, so in fact, actually the other, the other eye I've had on now for quite a while um, and it's still there. Usually what I find is with eyeliners is that as soon as I pop it on, basically it's gone. Um, just because I have quite, um, I do have quite dry eyes, um, but I blink a lot as you notice, but because I blink a lot, the makeup on the um, waterline doesn't last. Now I've got to put on some mascara and as always I'm using this. It's the PS Amplified. I don't know why I'm reading it. I know it off by heart. So it's a PS Amplified mascara in black from Primark. So I'm going to just pop that on. There we go. So that is my eye look done. Now, what I've also done, apart from just put a little bit of, that's better, um, I've just blinked and put a little bit of mascara on my eye. Now, what I did with this side is just clean it up slightly. So what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of my foundation. The one I'm using is the Infallible from L'Oreal. And I've just got another one of these brushes. That's why I've got three here today. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that onto the brush. I don't want it too damp. And then what I'm going to do is just draw a line just to clean this area up. What I want is a straight line. So it's just the same foundation that I've used and that will give you a perfect line. Now I usually try and go to the tip of my brow. That's the point that you're aiming for, <laughs> if you see what I mean. Um, so that is my eye look complete. Of course, I would take a close up picture um, and then pop it onto Instagram and yeah really really love that and i really appreciate um you know the um request if you do have any further requests for videos um do let me know because like i said i think you can really get into a rut especially these warm toned eyeshadows i mean i love warm toned eyeshadows don't get me wrong i mean they're my favorite to wear and apply um but you know it's just something different something different that you know we can try and i absolutely love it beautiful i really love that lid shade actually that lid shade is just beautiful so of course i would love your feedback on that eye look um i would also love your requests of what you would like to see whether it's eye looks or um you know products that you may have seen me um share that you haven't seen um anything you know further you would like to see it applied or used or whatever you know i would certainly be glad to do that um anything also um yeah so different eye looks products that you would like me to um like me to share anything like that i'm happy um to do that for you and of course if you have just stumbled across my channel i would absolutely love it if you subscribe to watch further videos uh, but until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye